Hello, I'm Liviu Bolan, and today I will show you how to set and get cache values using PHP APC. So, let's get started. First, during this tutorial, I will use three PHP scripts named APC Add, APC Fetch, and APC Store. If you want to learn more about the functions that I will use in these scripts, you can check out um, these links in the useful links section. I've provided here. Uh, one useful thing to know uh, before using uh, PHP APC functions is that cached data are TTL based and persist until HTTP web server or system reboot. Um, TTL means time to live uh, and this sentence will be explained in more detail during this tutorial. So, watch uh, the tutorial uh, very carefully and you will understand more about what this uh, wants to say. So, let's see the PHP scripts. First, uh, as you can see here, I'm having apc add that PHP. Uh, in this uh, script, I will show you how to use the apc add PHP function. Uh, if you want to learn more about this function, you can check out the PHP manual located on this uh, HTTP address. Uh, what APC adds, uh, add does is uh, to cache a new variable in the data store. Uh, as you can see here, uh, first time when I use uh, that, this function, uh, I provide to this function a key a variable, uh, a variable and a TTL. A uh, key is the key that will will be used uh, to store data inside of AP APC. Var is the uh, value that will be stored in this key, and TTL or time to live is a value uh, expressed in seconds that uh, this. Uh, value will per persist into the APC. So, uh, APC add will add the value uh, of the current date uh, to the APC uh, using the key card date 5 seconds 1 for 5 seconds. This is what this uh, uh, function is doing. Then, I am using the same key uh, and TTL and I'm calling APC add again but the var uh, value uh, is overwritten with this value. Uh, then I'm changing, uh, I'm changing the key and I'm calling the APC add without any TTL. When you are doing this and you're not specifying a TTL value uh, by default, uh, this value will persist inside the APC until the, until the uh, web server or the entire operating system is uh, restarted. So, now you understand what TTL based means. Uh, this refers to time to live, a value expressed in seconds. And uh, uh, the fact that even if you store in APC some values and you reboot the, the HTTP web server or uh, the entire operating system, you will lose the value that you stored there. Okay, the next calling to APC add uh, is, uh, is, is that uh, beside that uh, you are, I mean, I am using here for values an array with key and value, and because the key is uh, it is put inside of array, of array um, only the values are provided and no uh, key. Also, a TTL uh, is put it here, and then. The same calling is done, but without a TTL and different values for the values uh, variable. 
Now let's open a web browser and here uh, let's call the apc add uh, script by typing http.livubaland.com slash apc underscore add.php As you can see here <coughs> First time when I'm calling apc add this returns true because uh, this key doesn't exist in, into, the, into the APC then it returns false because I'm using the same key but uh, inside of that key I am having a value that doesn't expire so the value will be false and then the value will be true because I've changed the key and this will persist until the web server will, will be restarted and after calling apc add with array parameters for the values an empty array is uh, is shown okay now if i open this url and uh, calling it again for the first value uh, apc add the value will be false 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 and then minus one if i restart the page several time you will see that the first value changes why this is because uh, the value expired and if the value was expired i am able to use apc add if the value didn't expire i am not able to use apc add and the value will be false so if i use uh, refresh and refresh again you see that the value is false if i wait for five seconds and refresh again the value will be true so here apc add was able to add data inside of apc here wasn't able because i am using here the same key then uh, here wasn't able to add a new value because this value will persist until the web server will be restarted and here uh, the value uh, couldn't be uh, overwritten because uh, will persist uh, until the web server will be restarted so as you can see here ttl is zero now uh, if i use this uh, script here apc fetch you will understand better how APC works. So, as you can see here, uh, in APC, uh, by using APC fetch, I, I uh, pass to this function an array with the keys that I want to show the values. If you want to learn more about APC fetch, you can follow this URL and what apc fetch does is uh, to fetch a stored variable from the cache from the apc cache so as you can see here the only value that i have in cache right now in apc cache are the values with ttl 0 0 as you can see here 0 s 0 s 0 s now if i go to the first script refresh the function and go to the second script again you will see here that the values that should persist for five seconds are shown now if i restart the, if i refresh the script again the value that should persist for five seconds doesn't appear because uh, the ttl for five seconds um, was used so five seconds passed 
and after this the value aren't into the cache. My personal opinion is that this uh, values uh, TTL0 shouldn't be used because you will pollute the APC cache and you will get in some troubles because uh, you will run out of uh, memory and stuff like this. Okay, uh, so this is how APC add works. This is how APC fetch works. What is the difference between APC add and APC store? The main difference is that when you use uh, APC add, the value is added to the cache only if the current key doesn't contain a value that doesn't expire. So uh, it uh, adds a, a value if the key contains a value that it expired or is or isn't set. So as you can see here, when I'm using APC store, most of the time you will get the value true because for uh, for this key, for example, the value, the second one, will overwrite the first one even if I'm using the same key. For example, if I'm use if I uh, run this script store and then show the values, you'll see here that the values overwrite are shown here uh, because uh, what I want to show you here is that even if you uh, use the same key the last uh, write using APC store will be used and uh, this works very similar to APC uh, to APC add and now if I refresh the script you see that the keys that should persist for five seconds, five, five seconds disappeared. So this is how APC add, APC store and APC fetch works. If you want to learn more about APC, about web technologies, you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website, livibolan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.